everyone, this is Eugene. Today I'm, I'm gonna show you guys around my school, Chadwick International, give you guys a quick school tour on where I attend in a daily basis. So now let's go. So when we enter the school building, we enter through this school building, middle school and upper school students enter through this door. Come on in. So normally there's a teacher standing here or and here to check our daily check-ins because of COVID-19. It's a COVID-19 protocol. So if and then we would enter enter this way. This is the first floor and I'm gonna show you guys around the first floor. First in the first floor there are these middle school office and the upper school office is over in that side. And if you go straight this way, there's the art classrooms with um, some of the IT located in the diagonal side. And there's this atrium, a common area, important common area in our school. Currently exhibited with artworks, as you can see right here. Here, this is the art classroom that I study art in. He's saying, Mr. Evans is saying hi right now. This is the art classroom for all students. This is the DP art, art studio. And there are middle school um, art classrooms also located there. If you go this way to the other side of the first floor, As you can see, there are more artworks right here. And then there's the IT technology department right located right here, which helps you with technical stuff. If you have any technical difficulties, students or teachers, they would, the, the people right here are really helpful in solving those problems if you have any. This is the TV studio right here, but people are allowed to go, only enter with supervision and especially people that are actually involved in TV work. So I'm in the third floor right now. Third and fourth floor are used by upper school students and the second and third floor is used by middle school students. So I'm gonna go and go give you guys a tour in a simple classroom and then the science room and then we're gonna head to the gym building. So follow me this way. The, we have lockers right here, but we are not allowed to use them these days because of COVID-19 protocols because we're not like allowed to stay close to each other. This is an English classroom. Thank you, Ms. Patterson, for allowing us to use this room. Um, you can see the teacher's desk is here, student's desk are here, and there are some bean bags over there as well. And we have air conditioner in every room. Um, normally, um, the seats weren't like this before COVID, but we had to place it like this with numbers because of COVID-19 protocols. And yeah, that's how, this is how almost all classrooms look like with a carpet floor. And now we're gonna be heading to a science classroom, which looks different from every other classrooms. Hi guys, I'm in front of a science classroom. From this, this hallway, the whole hallway from here to all the way over there is all science classrooms. And there we have science um, subjects in upper, in upper school DP, such as biology, physics, chemistry, and all other so grades learn um, science in general. So if, you, if I give you guys around, show you guys around, this is how the class classroom looks like. Um, we're filming a school tour video. Ooh, hi people! <laughs> hi Ms. Moore, nice to meet you. <laughs> I was like, but my hands are full. Yeah, thank you. And this is a wash machine, it, just in case there's like um, harmful things on yourself. And yeah. Emergency shower. 
yes emergency shower as miss moore just told you there are those cabinets inside for all those all those materials needed for science equipments and here are safety goggles that people use when they're doing any experiments that require potentially harmful materials or chemicals thank you miss moore bye have a great day this is a common area this common area is called the orion and we have common areas in every floor we would normally have furniture around this whole common area but right now we don't because of COVID-19 stuff and yeah this is how the common area looks like and people would um, spend their time here during breaks and stuff even though all the furniture got pushed away and this is a typical water fountain in our school it's we're not allowed to use this because of again COVID-19 but you can use put your water bottle here it also shows how many disposable plastic bottles were saved from using this water fountain now we came down from the third floor to the second floor um it looks like the same right here in front of the elevator but if you head this way there is a large hallway that leads to the library and further the gym and the theater etc so let's go this way with me so this is the library of the middle and upper school library there are books fertilizers right here because of covid19 outside the library and if you go inside the library There's this huge library right now from here to all the way there. And currently there's nobody here because it is um, end of school right now. And people would normally come here during their study blocks to do their studies or borrow books. As you can see, we have a lot of books of diverse genres right here from here to here all across the library we have a lot of books and students can borrow their lot books right there so how you check out a book you turn this um, desktop on you search your first part of your email address and then you scan using the barcode scanner scan the barcode on the book and you are ready to go that's how you check out a book in our chadwick library there is this charging station right here there are a lot of cords so you can charge any electronic devices including your phone laptop ipad or any other electronic devices right here because you're, it's free for use for any Chadu community members. And I'll show you the other end of the library, which is a very nice area with the pods where you can people can rest or study depending on what they want to do. This is one of the pods. You can sit right here like this. You can sit right here like this and you can study using this table and there's it's comfy because there's just like a place where you can put your bag and your stuff right here and you can use this small thing here to put your feet up as well this is one of the printers in our school it's this is the library printer and we have more printers in our common areas in the orion cassiopeia and polaris so now I am here at the end of the library hallway. Here, this building, this glass building, is the administrative building where all the communications teacher, um, um, the head of school are all here. Okay, so I'm in front of the design classroom hallway and this way, you come this way. There are design rooms located at the very end of this hallway and there are multiple. As you can see, there are student artworks on the right and the left. Oh, the pottery room is open. This is the pottery room. 
people can make sculptures, cups, and other pottery stuff all inside this room. This is the Hi. pottery room. Teachers are making doing pottery. Say hi to the camera. Hello, hi, Mr. K. <laughs> no, 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 air high five. Yes. What are you guys making? What are you guys making? Okay. Okay. I decide. Okay. I see. Thank you. Bye. And if you head to the very end of this hallway, there are design rooms that look like this. Ta da! There are these nice tables where you can craft stuff. And these with equipments. And if I take you to that design room over there, as you can see, there are this shelf, and this is all the cameras that our school can use. Equipment, very expensive ones. 3D printers, and Hello. Hi, what's happening? We're just we're filming a school tour video. Oh, okay. Do you like to say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. Um, these are all the desktops that students can use during their design classroom. Yearbook used to use it when they were making layouts. And more, the most important thing in this room is this recording room. Let me turn on the lights. This is the recording room where you can um, record by using these professional mics instead of my using just, you know, like normal mics in your laptop. And there's this light also because um, assemb when assemblies are online, they are often hosted inside this room because if you do something inside this room, it can't be heard outside. This is another design classroom. This design classroom has a lot of stuff in it. I'll show you around. Those are 3D printers and there are more design um, appropriate desks here. And those around there are all equipment. And this is a professional laser cutter, which can be only used with supervision, I believe. It's really nice because it cuts nicely. And I believe this is it for the, this design classroom. Hi guys, this is the hallway right below the design hallway. And this is the hallway with all the um, things associated with music. So here, there's a practice room right here. It's not being used right now, so we can go in. And here, as you can see, it's a room with these thick walls that don't allow sound to come out. There's always this calendar right here on who uses this room. There's someone practicing piano right there, as you can hear. This is the strings room, one of the most important music rooms. As you can see, there are things stored right there. I think that's contrabass. And this is the general music room, right next to the right next to the theater. We will go now this way. Hi, Mister. Sure. Hi. What's going on? <laughs> um, we're filming a school tour video. Hi. Hello. This is Mr. Shirt, our middle and upper school performing arts director. Yeah, department chair. Department of, chair. Of all the arts now, actually. Yeah. Even oh. visual arts and media arts. And yes. So yeah. Yeah. He's, He's a, a really cool like teacher. Oh, thank you. This way, there's a drum lesson going on right here. And this, if that was the string room, this is the band room. As you can see, there's a lot of percussions right there. And this is the timpani. 
music stands, chairs, and more. And yeah, that is about it for the music hallway.